manalangin tayo. Pinupuri ka namin, O Panginoong Diyos, at pinasasalamatan sa biyaya ng isang magandang umaga at panibagong araw sa aming buhay at sa biyaya ng presensya ng bawat isang narito at ng mga nakasubaybay virtually. Maraming salamat din sa tagumpay ng mga naisagawang aktibidades kaugnay ng aming pagdiriwang ng ikaisandaan at dalawamputpitong anibersaryo ng aming hukbong katihan. Tunay mong pinagpala ang aming hukbong katihan sa iyong patuloy na pagkilos at pagtaguyod mula sa pagkatatag. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa magandang nangyayari sa aming hukbong katihan dahil sa biyaya ng kagitingan at mabuting pagsisikap ng mga nauna para sa aming hukbo at patuloy sa kasalukuyan. Maraming salamat din sa mga tao at iba't ibang ahensya at samahan na iyong sinugo bilang aming katuwang sa kanilang suporta. Ganon din sa biyaya ng suporta at inspirasyon ng aming pamunuan sa militar, ng aming mga kakilala at pamilya at ng aming pamahalaan na nagpatibay sa amin at nagpasigla ng aming pagkilos upang makamit ang maraming tagumpay sa patuloy na pakikibaka para sa kapayapaan at kapakanan ng aming bayan. At sa aming pagsulong bilang iyong mga lingkod sa hukbong katihan, hinihiling po namin ang iyong patuloy na pagkilos sa aming gitna upang matahak namin ang tamang landas ng pagganap at patuloy na mapaunlad ang aming hanay. Patuloy mo rin nawa kaming biyayaan ng aming mga kinakailangan upang matugunan namin ng nararapat bilang mga lingkod bayan ang tawag ng aming dakilang katungkulan. Mapanatili nawa ang magandang kaisahan na aming nararanasan at mapalalim ang pasyon at pagmamahal sa iyong pagtawag sa amin sa buhay paglilingkod bilang kawal at kawani sa aming pungkatihan at manatiling makabuluhan at maaasahang hukbo para sa bagong Pilipinas. At para sa aming lahat, iyo nawa kaming akayin sa landas ng iyong kalooban at sa pagkakaisa bilang isang lahing Pilipino. Patuloy mo nawa kaming lingapin upang laging ligtas sa anumang kapahamakan sampo ng aming mga mahal sa buhay. Papuri sa iyo, Panginoong Diyos, ngayon at magpakailanman. Amen. Ang sundalo natin ay gagabayan ng disiplina, kalusugan at kalakasan, pagmamahal sa pamilya at taimtim na panangal, panalangin sa poon may kapal para maging matatag ang pundasyon ng hukbong katiyan. Maraming salamat sa tiwala at suporta. Ipagtatanggol natin ang konstitusyon, proportektan namin ang ating Pangulo at ang kanyang pamilya, proportektan namin ang ating mamamayan at ang ating bansa. Maraming salamat sa pagdalo ninyo sa selebrasyon ng ating hukbong katihan. Mabuhay ang matatag na hukbong katihan para sa bagong Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang matatag na hukbong katihan para sa bagong Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang matatag na hukbong katihan para sa bagong Pilipinas. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. That it all things... God may be glorified. Before I, I uh, introduce our guest of honor and speaker, allow me to greet the Philippine Army a happy 127th anniversary. <clears throat> Taught to all members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, including the Philippine Navy and the Philippine Air Force.
Let me now proceed to my um, task of introducing our guest of honor and speaker. Our guest of honor and speaker for the 127th anniversary of the Philippine Army is no less than the President of the Republic of the Philippines and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., who is represented today by the Secretary of National Defense. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the Honorable Gilberto C. Teodoro Jr. Thank you very much, General Bronner. Please take your seats. Uh, General Patribonio, kindly order the troops to take us by nga. Thank you very much to our Chief of Staff, General Romeo S. Bronner, our host for today, Lieutenant General Roy M. Galido and uh, Mrs. Rina Galido, my colleagues, Secretary Antonio uh, Ernesto F. Lagdameo, Jr., Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Mark Leandro Mendoza, Presidential Advisor on Legislative Affairs, Secretary Andy Centino, Presidential Advisor on Maritime Concerns, the Executive Secretary, the Honorable Lucas Bersamin, represented by Assistant Secretary Adrian Bersamin, uh, fellow workers in government, of course, the Chief of the Philippine National Police, uh, General uh, Benji Acorda, and Admiral Gavan of the Philippine Coast Guard, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, present good morning to each and every one of you. It is an honor to represent President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. as we celebrate the Philippine Army's 127th founding anniversary. The President extends his greetings to everyone, especially to all the men and women of the Philippine Army on the occasion of this anniversary. He likewise conveys his deep regrets for not being able to be with us today. Nonetheless, he wishes that we all have a memorable event. With your indulgence, I shall now read His Excellency's speech. I extend my warmest greetings to the officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian human resource of the Philippine Army on the occasion of your founding anniversary. Since your foundation 127 years ago, the Philippine Army has endured the test of time, prevailed over battles, and evolved into a force that we can all be proud of. Not only has the organization been successful in its internal security operations, but it also exerted efforts in shifting to external defense. Equally noteworthy are your peacetime endeavors, which put you at the forefront of rescue and recovery missions aimed at ensuring the safety of our citizens. Our soldiers have become a reliable and calming presence amidst the loss and destruction that come in the wake of disasters and calamities. On behalf of a grateful nation, I give my snappiest salute to the Philippine Army's officers, enlisted personnel, civilian employees, as well as our partners and force multipliers in our communities for the significant roles you play in the accomplishment of the Army's mission. Thank you 
for your service to our country, which you have enthusiastically rendered without expecting any prize or reward in return. I also recognize the Commanding General of the Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Roy Galido, for continuing to raise the morale of our troops through your exemplary leadership. Our brave men and women look up to you for inspiration and guidance, and I hope that you will continue to show them your selfless and dedicated service to the nation. The incredible movement of large-scale forces and the total show of force you have and will see today is just a glimpse of the tremendous pace that our army is progressing in terms of capabilities. So carry on, Lieutenant General Galido. As we march onward to the Bagong Pilipinas that we aspire for, we need to transform our army into a multi-mission ready, cross-domain, and capable force that can effectively thwart emerging threats to our country's stability and sovereignty. That is why we continue to boost our Army's morale, efficiency, and responsiveness through continuous capacity building initiatives, rigorous training, and education activities, and other meritorious pursuits. Our ability to counter cyber threats is also of great importance Given this emerging threat, I urge the Philippine Army to bolster its cybersecurity capabilities to keep up with the rapid technological advancements and help maintain the country's security and stability. I hope that you will adopt the lessons you have learned, the best practices you have gained from joint operations and interactions with other major services of the AFP and our foreign defense counterparts. Let the time-honored creed of honor, patriotism, and duty be your guidepost in marching towards total victory as we create a Bagong Pilipinas that prioritizes peace, progress, and stability. Again, I wish the Philippine Army a happy 127th founding anniversary. Mabuhay ang hukbong katihan ng Pilipinas! Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas! Ladies and gentlemen, those are the words of the Commander-in-Chief. Let us remain steadfast in the fulfillment of our duties and support the administration's goal of a bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat, Philippine Army, at mabuhay. May we now invite your attention as our Special Forces Troopers conduct the military free fall. Equipment checks before each mission. Personal selection and training. MFF requires highly trained and experienced operators who can handle the physical and mental demands of the high altitude. Operational security is paramount to mission success. Operators must take measures to avoid detection and maintain secrecy before.
Well, this time, I would like to request the uh, former commanding generals of the Philippine Army, former commanding generals of the Philippine Army to join in the book. Asymmetric operations, the Special Forces troopers are now more geared to perform as a quick reaction force that can be deployed from air anytime and anywhere. <laughs> 